As you all know, the results of the two last years are remarkable. The EU-Russia relationship is enjoying its best dynamics for years. However, there is still much we need to do in order to untap what is potentially possible. For Europe, these are testing times. But we are driven by a clear commitment, a clear determination to work our way through the challenges. We are also addressing systemic challenges for the Economic and Monetary Union as such. We must strengthen the Monetary Union by more banking, fiscal, economic integration and enhance governance and democratic accountability. Second, on the EU-Russia bilateral relationship, we reconfirmed that the best basis for closer partnership should be an ambitious and comprehensive bilateral new agreement that includes trade and investment. The EU wants to be Russia's partner in its modernization. And that's why I see the further development of the partnership for modernization as one of the priorities in our relations. Finally, we had the discussions on a range of foreign policy issues. On Syria, the situation is appalling. The Syrian regime should immediately cease all forms of violence and provide its full support to the UN supervision mission. The European Union and Russia might have some divergent assessments, but we fully agree that an plan as a whole provides the best opportunity to break the cycle of violence in Syria, avoiding a civil war, and in finding a peaceful, lasting solution. We need to walk towards an immediate stop of all forms of violence in Syria and towards process of political transition. Mr. President, it has been a pleasure to have attended this constructive meeting. Thank you.